Hi everyone. So, I am uh, in a bit of a heat wave, uh, so let's try to make this quick. I am trying today uh, Liquitex for media. <clears throat> to be honest, I already tried it and I made a mess because uh, the Liquitex pouring medium is a lot more liquid than the GAC800 and it's very much more liquid than the pouring plus medium I tried last time. And um, yeah, uh, basically I, I started adding less water than I usually add and it was too much. So, uh, my canvas looked like uh, just a blob of mixed colors uh, and yeah, it didn't look good at all because I put way too much water in it. And that goes to prove that um, everyone makes a happy, ac a happy accidents. So, uh, today what I did is I mixed the paints and the medium the pretty much the same way, 30% paint to 70% medium, and then I added a tiny bit of water, like 5%, um, and yeah, that's plenty. And what I'm going to do today is just a flip cup, as I usually, well, as I've been doing lately, uh, and I think it's a good po um, technique to compare uh, the different mediums, and so... Yeah, let's get started with this. So, I have Payne's Grey here that will contrast nicely with my warm colors. And I'm using the side of the cup to gently stack the paint on top of each other. The other thing I've noticed too is that the Liquitex Pouring medium is a uh, quite transparent from the get-go, and what I mean by that is uh, we can already see the iridescence and metallic paints, even if they're mixed with the medium. And I think that the colors will lighten less as they, well, darken less as they dry, uh, and lighten less as they're mixed. So it will give you a better idea of what the finished painting should look like. I think, anyway. Oh, it's my first try, so... Cover my corners. Corners. Pop the big bubbles as well. And yeah. And you know what, guys? Like, even though I put less water in, I think I may have put too much water again. And I completely forgot to level my table. Anyway. I'll give you a short time lapse while I cover my sides. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'm really hot, so I'm going to stop <laughs> the time lapse here. Uh, I think I've put too much water again. We'll see how it dries. I really hope I get to keep the stripes uh, in the middle. They look really cool. Um, Mika is a... Because uh, in the Arteza paints, these, 
there are mica pigments to create the metallic and uh, pearlescent shine and mica is a funny um, thing to work with uh, it really acts weird um, I feel like I don't know its density is different than that of the rest of the pigments in the paint so it kind of maybe split and it creates like funny patterns Anyway, I can't wait to see how uh, that will dry. Hopefully it doesn't dry like a, a blob, like my last painting. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, happy with it as long as it dries like this and uh, I get to keep the stripes when it dries. Hopefully it does, uh, we'll see. Um, I feel like I've added too much water again uh, and yeah we'll see <laughs> can't say uh, really much right now I'll uh, write down uh, my thoughts um, in the outro as well uh, so if you want to see that my thoughts on the dried painting that's what I did with the pouring plus medium um, I feel like uh, it's a good uh, way to uh, really have my whole thoughts on the on the process so yeah uh, on that note um, yeah uh, let me know in the comments what you think let me know in the comments if there's a medium you would like me to try I have a bunch here that I ordered uh, from Amazon and other websites uh, but maybe I missed some and uh, I would be happy to try them for you and uh, give you my thoughts so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!